guys it's your boy Zeno Legend today bringing you a brand new video this video might be way different than usual but I'll still do it I hope some of you guys might enjoy it so uh, I have this class in school called programming and I learn how to program vb.net I've always been very interested in programming and stuff already and I wanted to create a small little program and maybe show you how I've done it so you can you guys can learn how to do it I might even do a how to make a RTM tool tutorial if I'm like good enough and I can do it on my own so basically in today's video I want to make a uh, program that generates if uh, there falls an apple or a pear as you can see from the title of the project from the tree so we have this invisible imaginary tree and I'm gonna make a button and like when you click it it's gonna tell you if an apple or a pear fell from the tree so that's basically what we're gonna do so basically what I'm gonna do is generate a number and uh, with a random function and if it's 1 or 0 I'm gonna assign a value to it so if it's 1 for example it will be a pear and if it's uh, 0 it will be an apple so that's how we're gonna generate it so first things first we gotta change the form name uh, what my teacher always told me to declare them so you have to write frm in front of it and then start with the real name so uh, let's call this apple or pear and then just change the form title as well, text. Let's change this back to normal. Okay, so as you can see, it's changed here to Apple or Pear. And now what I'm gonna do is create a label just to make it a little bit cooler and write in it um, what will what do you think as well three. And then I'm just gonna change my label. Label. Um, I'm just gonna name it fall. Something doesn't really matter that much. I'm gonna scale it up a bit and make a button. There you go. I'll also make another text box to make it seem cooler. Um, let's add another label right here. Label um, result. And we'll make this the generator. Fall. Button fall. Then we'll just make a text box um, or a label, doesn't really matter, but just make it seem cooler. We'll use a text box and we'll just scale this up a bit. Yeah, I like this. Okay, so we're gonna name the text box. Text box. Um, are we are we gonna gonna call it Apple or Pear or just uh, result as well? Text result. Nothing in it. Nope. Okay, so now we're gonna create the code. We've done the. Okay, now we've done the design. I'm gonna create the code. So we won't need a lot for this. So we'll just double click on the text box uh, on the button. I mean. And then we're gonna also write uh, a comment, so we're gonna, declare, we're gonna write the declaration of the variables. And basically underneath this we're gonna declare all the variables needed, and for this one I think we only need about one or something. Because I'm just gonna need a random function, and then we can just display it using the text box. Okay you legend, so I just finished the code, I had to research something, so basically what I've done right now, I uh, declare a variable rn as a new random and then the de de deck number as decimal. So basically, what I did was I stored the random number in the uh, in the number in the created number value as a decimal, and I converted the type of the random to a decimal. So if it's an integer or double or whatever, I don't know what it was. So I just converted it to be sure. And basically, what I did then was if uh, the number to a string equals 1 in a string form then it's gonna be a pair and if it's not 1 so if it's 2 because the max is 3 and it can be 3 it will be an apple so basically if we test it out right now we can see that if we press fall you see apple so that means it's 2 if we press again it's pair so it's completely random so now it's 1 because it's pair as you can see at the code and it's apple see I can spam it but sometimes it will only change so that works already now we're gonna do some small little changes to make it seem a little bit cooler and uh, then I'll end the video so I'm gonna make a close uh, button and a reset button 
and they will basically uh, make the field like white again and stuff. And I know I'm not the best programmer, I'm still uh, trying to figure out all this stuff also, but I'm um, just trying to make a pretty uh, decent video and hopefully you guys will enjoy it and I might uh, do more of these videos. So this will be the close button, I'm gonna make it close. BTN close. We're gonna make this the reset button, BTN reset. There we go, reset. So basically the code to uh, close the program, close the application is me want close. That's a very simple code to remember. Um, yeah, very useful <laughs> if you know it. And uh, the reset button is basically uh, just wiping out the field again. So we're basically gonna um, make a field blank. I'm, I'm the worst uh, commentator ever. Like I can't, how's it called? I can't commentate good at all my code so we're basically gonna make this field with filled with nothing again so if you get beer or something it won't be anything and we're also gonna do something cool so if we uh, randomize something we're gonna make the text the result um, enabled false so this will make it like blacked out wait is enabled is false okay there we go and then we're gonna make this one um, text result dot enabled is true so you will see what it does so as you can see we generated a number now it's stuck now it's stuck as, as you can see right now you can change it and we're gonna press reset it's gone and it's like uh, enabled again and then we can generate again and I, as you can see you can keep generating but I might actually make something that if it's not enabled that you can generate and you have to reset first let's do that right now and the close button works of course so Let's do that right now. Okay, legend. So I've cleaned up the code a bit. I've done uh, the check. So uh, basically, what I have right now is, uh, if the if the text box is enabled, if that's false, so if it's disabled, then I'm gonna show like please reset it first and otherwise do nothing. And here I changed my if statement a bit. So um, if um, the generated number is 1 and the text uh, box is enabled then you can uh, show me the result pair and I'm gonna disable the text box so that means it will be like grayed out and you can't generate it no more so you have to press reset first and this will enable the text box again and that's basically the application so we're gonna try it out right now what do you think that will fall from the tree let's take a guess I'm guessing Apple yeah there we go we guess Apple so if you spam this um, you can you will see it won't change anymore you have to press reset first and there we go and now it's peer see you just can reset it all time and play a bit with it so uh, I hope you legends enjoy this type of different video and the close button works of course but I hope you legends enjoy this type of different video uh, maybe give me some tips of what I can try to make I'm still a very basic programmer uh, I don't know a lot I mean I'm still you, you probably will think like oh my god what the fuck is he doing this so bad but I'm just like a beginner I'm just learning as well so I hope you legends enjoyed this video and if you have tips for uh, vb.net or if you said like oh no you could do it better you could do it differently just leave it in the comments I really want to see what you guys think of this and uh, it's been Javoy Zeno Legend and I'm out, hope you enjoyed the video, it's been Javoy, I'm out, peace!